Welcome to our service today here in St Mark's and to the church in your home. We acknowledge that here in St Mark's we are meeting on uh, land cared for for thousands of years by the indigenous folks who lived here before us and we acknowledge their elders past, present and emerging. If you're watching in Australia then you're also on land cared for uh, before you lived there. We've gathered today here to worship God through Jesus and to thank God for sending his son. Today's parable is the challenge to respond to Jesus properly on his terms rather than on ours. Once again, welcome. Good to spend this time with you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Our sentence for today, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, this is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. 
merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to God in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sin, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son Jesus was the stone rejected by the builders, and by your doing he has been made the chief cornerstone. Grant that by the power of his Spirit working in us, we may become living stones built up into your dwelling place, a temple holy and acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading for today is from Philippians chapter 3, beginning at verse 4. Even though I too have reason for confidence in the flesh, if anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet, whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ the righteousness of God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his suffering by becoming like him in his death. If somehow I may obtain the resurrection of the dead, not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal of the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 21 beginning at verse 33. Glory to you Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who had planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. 
Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realised that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reading is a story Jesus told to warn people who were on the verge of not listening to his message. It's after he's come into Jerusalem, it's towards the end of his life. He's done the um, turning the tables over in the temple thing to say this is claiming this space to be able to say what should happen here. Uh, and the Pharisees and Sadducees have pushed back and say, who are you, what right have you? And so he told this story. There was a vineyard that a farmer gave to tenants to look after. Now a vineyard is an Old Testament image for the nation of Israel. In Isaiah chapter 5 though, it is the vines that go astray, the people. Here in Jesus' telling of the story, it is the people looking after the vineyard who lose the plot. Because while they have the benefit of looking after the vineyard, they get grapes, they turn that into, uh, I guess, wine. When the owner of the farm sends messengers to collect rent, uh, they beat them up and refuse to pay. The owner sends his son, so they kill the son, thinking somehow that'll get them out of paying. And of course, the owner will then send the police and execute the tenants and put in other people who will pay him rent, not beat up his staff and not kill any more sons. Jesus has proclaimed the reign of God, justice, love, call people to follow him, not just live for good ideas and good ideals or be religious, but to actually listen to him and do what he says. The Lord of heaven and earth should be the Lord of their heart. That's the rent that the people of God should have paid to God, their owner. And instead, just as previously, the law and the prophets had been rejected by leaders, so Jesus knew that he was himself about to be rejected and killed, and the consequence for the people who did that would be dire. In our public life at the moment, we are seeing, if you look overseas, uh, significant leaders who are before the courts and their response is not to uh, plead their case and try and make their case or to take their medicine but to attack the courts right to judge them. You know who I mean. Jesus is looking at the Pharisees saying you might think you can resist the judgment of God but I, Jesus, you will answer to me, you will answer to me, the court of God will win you will answer. So it's a story of warning. And of course, because it's Jesus, it's a story of warning not to say, this is what is going to happen to you, but this might happen to you, so go the other way. 
I'm here representing the God of love. Follow me. And of course, they killed him. Some did follow him. Most didn't. It won't have been well for them. As the plot of God's work with the planet has continued, uh, now the church has the ge- replaced the geographic people of Israel as the people of God. The keys of the kingdom have been given to them. Jesus has ended his ministry after his resurrection by saying, go and make disciples of all nations. The church is now the people of God. This parable was written to warn another group of people with another set of leaders. But we read it and we can get a range of things out of this story, even though it's not initially addressed to us. It's written to be overheard by us. So we will learn the following things. What does the rent look like? The servants and Jesus the Son were sent to collect rent from that people of God. What does God expect from us? What's the rent? Love, community, justice, make disciples. Love God and each other. Do life together as the people of God, encouraging each other to get our act together as disciples. Justice. What do the First Nations people in this country really need? A voice justice make disciples call people to follow jesus to love god accept that we are loved by god be in community on mission for god call people to join us as disciples of jesus that's the rent that the church you and me are called to pay secondly in the story there were a series of messengers who were beaten up The church has actually continued the practice of beating up messengers over the years. Uh, Martin Luther was rejected by the Catholic Church in the 16th century in England. Uh, My church history lecturer said the English Reformation was much gentler. They didn't kill as many people, but they did kill reformers. More recently, Martin Luther King in America uh, proclaiming racial justice, and he was killed for that and vilified by the church many parts of the church in the United States. People have called for gender equity. People have called for uh, justice for asylum seekers. And messengers are often beaten up. I guess for us, the people who make us uncomfortable, what's God's message to us through them? Don't assume because people are uncomfortable that they're ratbags who should be rejected. Some of them, not all, but some, will be God's messengers that we shouldn't reject. Second thing to get from this story. The third thing to get from this story is a broadening of responsibility. In Jesus' day, he was calling on the religious leaders to look after the people of God so the people of God would respond to him. But the church is different. Although it looks like an organisation with a hierarchy, I'm a priest, some of you are not. Um, There are archbishops and popes and uh, wardens and people in positions and roles of responsibility. But fundamentally, the people of God are all equal and the church belongs to all of us. So in different ways, responsibility for the fruitfulness of the church and response to the right messengers actually rests with all of us you as well as me. How can we carry out our responsibilities? Back to fruitfulness. Be people who love, people who listen, and people who do. Those are the people who will be doing their responsibilities. And in biblical church, every Christian is a part of the church, has a role in the church and a responsibility to create create a community that models and invites the love of God. So today's gospel story. If you're thinking Jesus, gentle, nice, loved and accepted everybody, today's gospel story is going to be a shock for you because he gave intentionally 
a shock and a threat to people. It's not far off, turn or burn. It's if you're trying to be uh, this leader who can bluff their way through the court, well, it's not going to work well for you. It's pretty close to being a threat. We read that addressed to them, and we get from that that the church now is the people called to be the vineyard of God. Fruitfulness, love for God, justice, make disciples, the responsibility of all of us. Amen. Ubutumwa bwiza tubusanga muri Mateo Mweranda ikigabure cha 2:23 mu murongo wa 33. Nimwumvire ubundi mugani habayenye nurugo yateye uruzabibu aruzitirira uruzitiro yimba mu bwato bw'ikinogo yubaka mu mutara arusigara na barimyi aja mu mahanga. Nuko igihe cyera kigomba kugera atuma abakozi biwe kuri babarimyi ngo babahe inzabibu ziwe. Maze abo baremye bafata babakozi biwe umwe baramushishagura ubundi baramwica ubundi bamutera amabuye Yongera gutuma abandi bakozi barengeye abambere babagira kuno hanyuma abatuma ku mwana wiwe bati bazosonera umwana wanje abo baremye babonye wa mwana wiwe baravugana bati urya niwe samuragwa ni muze tumwice tuze twegukira umwandu wiwe baramufata bamuhindura inyuma bamuhindira inyuma y'uruzabibu baramwica none nye n'uruzabibu ni yiyizira azobagira ate abo barimye baramwishura bati abo babi azobica rubi uruzabibu barusigara nabandi barimye bazohora bamuha inzabibu igihe cazo yesa rababaza ati ntaho muri asoma mu byanditswe ngo ibu yabubatse bagaye niryo ryahindutse irigumye imfuruka ibyo byavuye kuhoraho kandi ni igitangaza mu maso yacu nico gitumye mbabwira yuko ubwami bw'Imana muzobwakwa ugahabwa ihanga ryama imbuto zabwo ariko uzogwa kw'iryo buye azovunagurika ari ari ko rizogwa ko bizomuvungura maze abahereze bakuru n'abafarisayo bumvise iyo migani yiwe bamenya ko ari avuga Barundi ingene bamufata batinya abantu kuko biyumvira bamwiyumvira ko ari uvugishwa n'Imana Uyu mugani uri muri bimwe mu biganiro bya Yesu n'abarongozi b'amadini mu gihe ciwe Yatangarije abantu ibyo ubwami bw'Imana ahamagarira abantu kumukurikira Yakoze bitangaza kandi yigisha afise ubutware bw'Imana Abantu bamwe baramwemera abandi nti bamwemera bamwe mu barongozi b'amadini bari bamukurikiye ariko bamwe muri bo bamubaza aho yakuye uburenganzira bwo kuvuga bwo kuvugira imana bigisha abantu ko bagomba kubakurikira nti bakurikire Yesu Yesu rero yavuze inkuru kuri bo bameze nk'abakotesha nk'aba nkabakotesha banse kwishura ubukode nibo agereranya nabo nibo agereranya nabo banse kumukurikira kandi ntibizobakundira kubivamo ntabwo inkuru yandikiwe twebwe ariko turashobora kuyisoma nk'umukeburo kuri twebwe imana yaduhaye impano nyinshi imana iradukunda iratubabarira idushira mu itorero iduhimiheza giro kandi dushira mu vyo imana ikorera muri yisi inyishu yacu yagombye kuba ugukunda imana gukurikira yesu kugirira neza abandi no gukora ibyo imana ishaka ko dukora mu buzima bwacu ni itorero ryacu nimba twarabaye abapangayi muri iyi nkuru ibi nibyo twakora kugira ngo twishure ubukode bitandukanye nabakotesha mu nkuru twasomewe Imana ntizo kwigera itwanka canke kaduta ariko ntidushobora gukina n'Imana iyo tudashaka gukora iby'Imana ishaka Imana ibandanye dukunda ariko tuburi byiza by'Imana mu buzima bwacu impera ni impera Yesu azotegeka isi yose tuzobana n'Imana ubuzira herezo tegura ubuzima bwawe kuri uno munsi kuri uno munsi wa none 
kugira ngo witegure gukurikira Yesu Amina Let us together affirm the faith of the church We believe in one God the Father the Almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God eternally begotten of the Father God from God light from light true God from true God begotten not made of one being with the Father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became truly human for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end we believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets we believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come Amen. The Gospel reading is a call to renewed following of Jesus and we do that for better or for worse together blessed by and encouraged by each other <laughs> please stand as we share the greeting of peace we are the body of Christ His Spirit, Spirit is with us the peace of the Lord be always with you and also, and also with you, you. Ian with peace with you peace be with you
Almighty God, your Son Jesus Christ has promised that you will hear us when we ask in faith. Receive the prayers we offer. We pray for your world, for leaders who serve with mercy and integrity. We pray for peace throughout the world and that resources will be used wisely and justly. We pray that as we prepare for the coming referendum, we may listen with our hearts and our discussions with others will be respectful and honest. We pray for those who suffer for lack of nourishing food, for those without access to clean drinking water. We pray for all affected by war, political unrest and man-made disasters. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your worldwide church, for its clergy and people, and the good news of salvation for all people. We give thanks that our Archbishop-elect has been chosen and pray for him and his family. We pray for our clergy and all who worship in this place. Strengthen our faith and help us to listen for your spirit and follow in your footsteps wherever they may lead. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the fellowship of the communities in which we live and work. We commend to your keeping ourselves and each other, our families, those with whom we work and learn, our neighbours and our friends. We pray for those who are without gainful employment or separated from family and friends. Free us from selfishness and envy that we may create a community of care where all are cared for, wanted and loved. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for your unfailing compassion, for your sustaining care in times of need. We pray for all who are in distress, the lonely and anxious, the sad and the grieving, and all who care for them. We pray for all those on our parish prayer list and for others we know who need our prayers and support. Free them from their pain and fear that they may find comfort in their sorrow and hope in their despair. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We praise you for all your servants whose lives have honoured Christ. We give thanks for the life of Kay, Kay Turnbull and pray for her family and friends as they mourn her passing. Encourage us by their example, so that we, with Elizabeth Grieve, Peter Daniels, Vera Wilson, Christine Thompson, Sheila Pauley and all your saints may run with perseverance the race that lies before us and share with them the fullness of joy in your kingdom. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amasengesho yo mu Kirundi yo kuri uyu munsi w'Imana itariki 8 z'ukwezi kwa 10 umwaka wa 2023 abereye ku ishengero ya Mariko Mweranda muri Anglicane hano muri Australia mana yo mu ijuru 
data uhoraho turagushimiye ubuntu bwawe n'imibazi zawe byamaho ibihe bidashira uri imana nyamana uri imana tawogereranywa nawe mana uri imana waremye byose iboneka nibitaboneka mwami uri imana natwe waturemye mu isho yawe turabigushimiye mwami turagushima kuri uyu munsi mwiza uduhaye wo gusenga turagushimiye kuri uyu munsi mwiza utugiriye neza tukaba turi bazima mana yacu none ijambo rya tubwira ngo tukurondere bigishoboka kubonwa mana reka tubaze twisabire imbabazi turabanyantege nke turagucumura ko mu byumviro turagucumura ko mu bikogwa uduharira ibyaha byacu mwana ndetse uharire nuwo wese ariko arumva ya masengesho arabari hafi arabari kure uduharira ibyaha byacu mwana uko ijambo ryawe ratubwira ngo ritwa turi ibyaha byacu uruwo kwizigwa kandi uragororotse bituma uduharira ibyaha byacu kandi ngo amasengesho y'umunya byaha ngo ni gisesema kuri wewe mwana none turagusavye ngo utweze utugira bera nkuko na uruwera mwami hanyuma wakire amasengesho yacu turagushimiye ingene mana yacu watugiriye neza turagushima mana nzima ngene jambo ryawe tubwira ngo tukira abanyantege nke watanze umwana wa Yesu Kristo araza mu isi yanduye araza afise ubushobozi ariko yaje mu byiwe abantu bo mu isi ntibamwakira mwana turagushima mana yacu yuko yihanganiye umusaraba turagushima ko yihanganiye mwami mana yacu kugirwa nabi turagushima yuko yihanganiye ibitsibo by'amahwa yambitswe turagushima ko yihanganiye umusaraba mwana ibyo byose bya bikoze kubura ukuntu yadukunze mwana ubijamo gya tubwira ngo tugifitse intege nke ngo Kristo yemeye kudupfira kugira ngo umwizera wese mwami ntazapfera ubi bariko azahabwa ubugingo budashira turagushima kuri ubwo rukundo wadukunze mwana turagushima kuri ubwo buntu watugiriye mwana turagushima kuri amasezerano wadusezeraniye mana turagushima yuko mana yacu ari waduhaye kugira ngo atubere inzira atubere ukuri kandi umwizera wese mana nzima azokubona mana none mana yacu twamaze gusaba imbabazi turasubiye gusaba mana yacu ngo ugurure imitima yacu kugira ngo agire ikibanza mu mitima yacu agire ikibanza mu bugingo bwacu mwami tumugire uwa mbere ko turamenya neza mwami ko tukiri muri yisi yisi ratugerageza yisi ratumibiri ratugerageza satana ratugerageza ariko abakwize bose mwami bama bahagaze baba bahagaze ko Yesu Kristo niwe wenyene utugwanira none mana yacu niwe twizeye twizeye ubuntu bwawe twizeye imbabazi zawe mwami twizeye ko ari ushobora kutuneshereza mwana turagushima mana nzima ko watanze ijambo ryawe turagushima ndetse ko waduhaye ibyagezwe byawe byera mwana ukatwereka ko atawe ndahi ni mana dukwe gukurikira atari we wenyene gusa mana nzima ukatubwira ko dukwiye kubaha ko dukwiye kwitwarara ikibyawe n'ugoroka kwawe kugira ngo nibindi byose twame tubyongegwa tubyongegwa turagushima ndetse ko ijambo ryari tubwira yuko ibyageze byawe wabizanye mana kandi ngo biratunganye mwami bituma umuntu agenda gororotse mwami bigatuma n'umuntu umutungu mwami umuntu umunyantege nke agira ubwenge mwami kubwo ibyagezo byawe mwami turagushima mana yacu ko wabizanye kugira ngo tubigendere ko bigende bitwereka mwami turago ushima yuko waduhaye impuhemu wawe yera kugira ngo agenda atwigisha mwami iyo tari iyo tutayinzira mwami agenda atwongorera agenda atwereka ibyo dukwiye gukora none mana yacu ndasengeshe ngero ryawe kugira ngo duhe impuhemu wawe yera uduhe impuhemu wawe yera twame tugenda nko hugomba mwami nukuri twame tugenda nko hugomba twame tugenda tukubaha twame tugenda twicisha bugufi twame tugenda tugukorera mwami Erega Paulo yavuze ati kubaho ni Kristo ati yemeye guhomba vyose mwami kugira kuri kire wowe Yesu kuko wowe ari wowe kibirenge cha vyose mana none natwe mana turagomba gukurikira wewe mana yacu 
turazi yo dufite byose ibyo tubona byose bizovaho ariko mana yacu turagushima ko dufite zerano wadusezeraniye yuko ijambo ryawe rizo kwa maho we mana zo kwa maho Yesu zo kwa maho muhe muzo kwa maho ndetse nabakwizera bose mana yacu turagushima ko wadusezeraniye isezerano ryawe mwami naho imibiri yacu ufa kwa rizo opfa ariko mana yacu imitima yacu zo kubona none mana yacu turasabye mana ngo rushuje gutunganya imitima yacu mwami kwame tugendera mu bigomba mana yacu tuze tukubone uko Yesu Kristo giye waduga mu ijuru wadusezeraniye ngo ntiduhagarike imitima ahubwo tukwizere ngo waduze kwa data gutegura ibyicaro kugira ngo ahuzo buri natwe tuze tuhabe mana warakoze mana yacu none utugirire neza uduhe kugendera mu byagezwe nawe uduhe kwa mana yacu tukubaha mwami uko ngwibuye abubatsi bagaye niyo jahindutse ngo igumyifuruka natwe mana yacu tukubahe tugukorere tugendere mu nzira yawe mana uko Yesu Kristo ari we nzira n'ukuri n'ubugingo ari uduzo dushikana kwa data dukundire mana yacu dusubire gusengera ishengero ryawe mana turasengeye abakuze turasengeye abato mana na jare cyane turasengeye abatarakumenya mu izina rya Yesu Kristo kukumenya ngo ryo tangoro ry'ubwenge ndakwingize mwami imana abatara kumenya abo satani yaboshe imigozi yiwe mana mwizina rya Yesu Kristo ndakwingize ngo icyacagure mwami uduhe kwami imbuto zikwiranye no kwihana no kugororoka mwami umuhama mahoro umunezero ukugira neza ukugira imbabazi mwami nibindi 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 mwami uduhe kugira tugororoka mana yacu uzobukoze mana neruheza girishengero ryawe abarushe ubaruhure abagwayi ubakize mwami mana turagushima ku bitanga dogi ukora nyine wagiye ukiza benshi mwami turabigushimiye mwami turagushima ko nabari mu ngendo mwami wabazigamye ukabagarukana amahoro mwami turagushima ko wabarinda aho bari hose mwami turagusabye rero ngo ndumva ubabara ikwa inkomezi ubana yikubagirira neza mwami turasobana nje gusengera mwami mana ego me nabandi bose bakiri ego me mu ngendo ubaheza gire mwami ubagirire neza uzobashikana mahoro turasubiye gusengera ihugu cha Australia turimwo mwizina rya Yesu Kristo turasengeye abantu bawe mwami kugira ngo ubaha mahoro yawe na cyane cyane bakumenye bamenye ko ari wowe mana tayini mana iri hatari wowe abakugiza abambe uwambere mwami wowe mana wabagiriye neza Nenda kuingize mwami mana muri higu nyine turimwo tugire uwambere mwami tugire uwambere mu ngingo bwacu tugire uwambere mu bikogwa byacu tugire uwambere mu kubaho kwacu mwami uhezagira abarongozi uhezagira ishengero ryawe mwami uhezagira abantu bawe mwami babe mu bunno mu rukundo rwawe mwami turasengeye ibihugu bitandukanye mwami tutibagiye igihugu cy'u Burundi tutibagiye igihugu cy'u Rwanda tutibagiye igihugu cy'a Kongo tutibagiye igihugu cy'a Kenya tibagiye nibiri hugu byinshi mwami ubanaye kubagirira neza ubanaye kubahezagira mwami erega mana yacu turindiye ukuza kwawe uduhe kwa matwiteguye mwami imitima yacu twese mwami abantu bawe mana yacu duhe kwa matugabye twamye twitegure ukuza kwawe mwami kwijambo ya tubwira ngo doza hingisuma mwami yeri imitima yacu yame yiteguye kugo yaba yene nzu yomenye munsi gisuma cyo zirako yoteranye iyo kunze kwinzu yiwe yimbwa cyanke yibwa none mana yacu natwe mitima yacu yamigabye yame yiteguye mwami tukwakire tugira uwamire mu ngingo gacu urakoze kuduheza giye indwe tugiye gutangura mwami tube ndwe y'umugisha iyi misi dusigaje y'umwaka tuzi tubere imisi y'umugisha umwaka mu 2026 wa gutangura mwami uzu tubere umwaka w'umugisha mwami na cyane cyane mwami tube muri wewe tubandaye kwe muri wewe mwami uduhe kugenda twikorera twikorera umusaraba wawe mwami kwijambo rya tubwira ngo utikorera umusaraba wawe ntagukwiye mwami ariko ishengero ryawe abantu bawe bagendera muri wewe mwami na cyane cyane mwami uduhe kurongwana nkwe mu wawe yera urakoze kutugiriye neza ndasengiye ayo mabiyo safukamye mwami abari ko barakwambaza mwami aba baba bari umutwe mana yacu aba bari umugongo aba baragufa abara mu biri wose mwami abafite ingwara zo mu maraso zo mu wahaha zo mu gitigo mu izina rya Yesu Kristo ndakwingize ngo bagendere umvugusenga kwacu mwami 
mana yacu we uri muganga niko muri ibyo yavuze ko muganga mwiza ni Kristo none mwa mana yacu turabasengeye mwami ama mahoro yawe arushije uganda mu bwigo bwacu mwami mana yacu urakoze kutugiriye neza urakoze kuduheza giye mwami twizeye wewe twizeye ibuntu bwawe mwami twizeye rukundo rwawe mana ubikore nk'ugomba dusaba bikewe kaduha byinshi ibyo ubona byo tugirira ikimazi mwami ubiduhera ubuntu bwawe n'imbabazi kimwe gusa mana yacu ubanaye kuturinda satani agenda agenda yivuga rondera barotsa ariko mwizi na Yesu Kristo turasabye ngo amaraso yawe abanaye kudutwikira ubikore nk'ugomba mwizi na Yesu Kristo mucunguzi wacu amen as our savior has taught us we are confident to pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Amen. Well, thank you for joining us again in church and welcoming us into the church in your home. There are some things coming up in the Anglican Church here which you might know about and some of them you will be able to join in if you'd like to. The next thing coming up in our annual program is our stewardship campaign when we'll ask people to consider how we use the resources God has given us to serve the mission that God has called to be part of stewardship when we talk about about money after that uh, in early november we'll have an all souls service there'll be something online a reflection to enable us to thank god for the people who've gone before us into the presence of god this i guess uh, meets two needs one we like to know that the people we love are okay with god and secondly, we need to acknowledge that we are their heirs. In many sense, we stand on their shoulders. We are, for good or ill, who they made us. We're responsible for our bit, but we're shaped by those who've gone before us. So we'll remember all that at an All Souls, All Saints service in early November. And men's barbecue breakfasts continue. Uh, the next one will be on the last Saturday in October. Uh, as I talk to you right now, I can look up in the newsletter and it is the 24th of October. Thanks again for joining us. I look forward to being part of church with you again next week when we begin our stewardship campaign.
a long time ago I saw a sign uh, on the way out of a church that said uh, the worship is over, the service begins as people left. We've gathered, we've worshipped, now we go out to serve. Please stand for the blessing if you can. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Uh, well, folks, um, here's a quick perspective on what's been happening behind the scenes. Everything you've watched for the last five weeks was recorded back in August. Uh, Francis, my wife, and I spent most of September in Greece and in Turkey and just got back the other day. So this week's service is recorded live, but last week, the one before, the one before that, the one before that, and I think the one before that all recorded back in August. So we're back in almost real time now. And while we were away, Ian and Judy Chevis were also away in New Zealand. Uh, so Robin Cairns was holding the fort for a whole month. Isn't she a legend? It's great to see you again. Uh, Ian might want to say a couple of words. You know, the wonders of modern technology. You've seen it all and we've been far away. But it's been great to do it for you. God bless.